here is my ranking of all 10 2022 Best Picture nominations. Number 10, Triangle of Sadness. Again, I, to clarify, I don't like any movie on this list, but if I see the one on Pine that's like the rewatch, it'll probably be this movie. Well, it is definitely is a great satire and rich culture. It does have a lot of hilarious moments and great performances. It goes on way too long, and I really didn't care about that act, and the only connect with the character the entire was supposed to, but it's a movie that I didn't really impact on that much. All right. Number nine, Women Talking. A film that I probably much admire more than I actually really enjoy. Definitely has fantastic performances and incredible production design and directing, but just a film that I'm going to watch again. And I would say it's standing for my number eight, which is all quiet on the Western front. An epic war movie that really delivers the greatness I love about war movies, but this is one of the ones that I'm not going to watch again. It's one that I love and I appreciate and admire more than I actually love it, but it's still a rip worth watch. Number seven, Tar. Again, kind of goes on a bit too long in some areas, but Kate Blanchett delivers a comp tier career best performance, and it definitely delivers a very interesting character study on this fictional composer. Number six, Avatar The Way of Water. Again, can't feel really indulgent too long, but this definitely is a much more pre sequel from the first film from the first one. It can touch upon the same stuff on the first one, but I at least met more of the characters this time, at least has a more compelling story and narrative and emotion. Number five, Elvis. Austin Bell is still gives the best performance of the year. And this film still is my biggest surprise of the year. Still, still. Number four, The Banshees of Inner Shear. And I feel I wasn't sure it wasn't going to be a rewatchable movie for me, but I ended up loving a pun rewatch. And it's still a compelling movie that, when I'm done, delivers some top tier directing and amazing humor and incredible performances. And one of the best screenplays of the year. Number three, Everything Everywhere All at Once. I was not expecting this movie to get as much nominations as it did, but man, it's a great movie and an amazing movie that I admire every time I rewatch it, so it's not like I'm really complaining. <laughs> Number two, Top Gun Maverick, a worthy legacy sequel that, that is honestly a million times better than the first movie, delivers upon the great emotions and great characters, amazing flight sequences, and it's a lot of fun, and it's just an exhilarating blockbuster experience. But my number one favorite of the Best Picture nominations is, of course, The Failments, which is my favorite movie of the year, a very personal story about Spielberg. Great characters, great story, very personal, very emotional, relatable, and those are the type of movies for me, so Tailman is my number one. I would love to let me know what how would you run all the best picture nominations down below in the comments and let me know which one do you want to win.